Okay, one, two, ja. Yeah. Scarlet Moor hier in Amsterdam im Paradiso und wir haben hier Holy Radiation von den Specials und Trevor Clark, Autor des Buches Murder on the Train to Scarlet. Ja, wir haben gestern schon die Show gesehen von den Specials. Äh, es war wahnsinnig, es war gut und äh, jetzt geht's gleich los mit den Fragen. Um, hello Roddy, ja, um, yeah. how uh, was the gig like yesterday? It was a great gig last night, I really enjoyed it, really good. Okay, um, have you ever played in Amsterdam before? Several times, some of the times I don't remember. <laughs> no, we, we haven't played this venue since uh, the 80s. I remember like, we had to sort of uh, get a, a bench and break away in last time we played here because we couldn't get in. Well, I Okay, yeah, but uh, yesterday I think uh, it was first fantastic. Uh, it was uh, packed and uh, it's uh, yeah, full of energy inside the audience and also on the stage, I think. Uh, um, can you say something uh, what makes it uh, special? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what makes it special? Or, uh, is there a difference uh, to be on stage now, 30 years after uh, you kicked off with specials? Well, obviously, sort of. With We're not any younger, you know what I mean? So like, it, it's uh, it, it's hard work sometimes, but uh, music sort of uh, gives you energy sometimes. Okay, and uh, Trevor, you've seen the specials um, 30 years ago. Um, what Can you tell us something uh, about the difference? Um, well, the energy is definitely still there, and the, it, it's 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 that beat that just gets inside you and like it says you just get energy back from from the music and yeah and then nothing else seems to be uh, around you. you you're just totally focused on, on this energy and yeah and you just have to move yeah dancing and uh, yeah and they're playing it's, 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 it's dance music you know that's, that's the whole thing with the specials dance music with the message I just have to check if I really record this. Um, All right, yeah. Sorry. No, it's record. Yeah. Okay, we're, we're fine. Yeah, we'll that work good all again. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. it's good. Um, yeah. Um, I've got uh, one question is um, about uh, the actual riots in uh, London, uh, which. Uh, It's a similar situation when the special started. So, um, can you say something? Because we are on the, uh, in Switzerland, are not that close. But can you compare the situation? And maybe uh, that's why the specials are so popular at the moment again. <laughs> it's, it's a hard one because, like you know, uh, but uh, the situation in England is very similar. You know, like sort of. Uh, Unemployment, racist, uh, like EDL and fucking you know, fascist people come along again, which is like wrong, obviously. So maybe we're here to put the world to right best we can, you know. Um, yeah, you said something about racism and uh, fascism. Um, um, something what uh, is of my interest is um, you use the term National Front in uh, Do the Dog. At, uh, yeah, I can't <laughs> but yeah, but do, um, you don't use it anymore. Well, the National Front doesn't exist anymore. They yeah. changed the name to the British Movement. It's the same bunch of cunts, but like it's a different name. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, Trevor, you want? Uh, you've got a question. Yeah, the the, the National Front question on, on do the dog, all you punks and all you Teds, National Fronts and natty dreads, mods, rockers, hippies and skinheads, keep on fighting till you're dead. Can you? Well, the thing is that's one of Jerry's songs. More so pity's not here, but like it's sort of. Uh, I don't know. You have to ask him what it meant. I suppose <laughs> lyric wise, but I guess it's just sort of like about people just fighting for the sake of fighting or you should be fighting for a reason, you know? Yeah, that's, Who the, knows, you know? that's the way I interpreted it, is that yeah. you're fighting for your own beliefs yeah. and, and yeah. to keep, uh, yeah, keep your own uh, culture alive and, uh, yeah, fighting for your rights. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. 
good? <laughs> okay, and uh, yeah, coming back uh, to the to the tour at the moment um, and the, and your daily tour life, uh, does thi this change? Do you see something uh, of uh, of the cities you're playing in? Or, um, what are you doing? Well, musically, sort of the specials has always been a force, and like it's the gig's been great the past three years, and whether this is the end, whether it'll carry on, who knows? But like. Uh, for some reason, these like very disparate, you know, different people uh, playing together as the specials, and it works. But uh, it's 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 a funny mixture, you know. And uh, whether it will carry on or or die after this year, I don't know. Okay. On the web website, there's written uh, that everyone or some of, uh, of you are uh, writing new uh, songs and uh, new material. But um, maybe you can say something. Will it uh, be uh, special songs or maybe it will be Scarbilly Rebel songs? Uh, something? Well, I'm, I'm going to record some new stuff, and uh, some of the guys are, like, in the specials are doing their own thing. But like, as to the specials recording new stuff, I don't really know. It's sort of a, it, it's always been a difficult thing because of us all being so different musically minded, mm -hmm. and like and it's all <laughs> having massive egos or some shit, you know. Like <laughs> <laughs> so like it, it's sort of uh, who's going to say no? That song don't work. That song does work, you know. But I, I was saying I, I I keep writing songs and. Some of them political, some some are just like love songs or whatever, you know. But you write songs and you're a musician, that, that's your job, you know. Yeah, fair enough. Um, Trevor, um, you've got another question uh, too. Yeah, I've got a couple of questions. Oh, uh, okay, then <laughs> go ahead. Go for that. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, you were known as uh, first the, the Automatics and then the Coventry Automatics because there was another band called the Automatics. Yeah. And I read somewhere that you only changed to the specials when you was actually walking down to a gig when you were supporting The Clash. Uh, I've no idea actually, but like, I know there was this problems like another band had the same name, but uh, when we did The Clash tour with the name change to the specials. There was like several different names thrown around at the time, but uh, you know, I, I think it was, it was a bit of a... We weren't special. The whole point was it was a bit of a... Uh, Mickey take or whatever, like. But then again, as you were looking at sort of, sort of uh, a lot of like black uh, vocal groups had like uh, the Supremes, you know, like, or whatever, like Seekers. Yeah, but it's sort of like you know, you wear you wear like your pride on your chest, and saying we were special was sort of kind of even though we probably weren't at the time, you know. It was trying to get attention, I suppose. Yeah, well, it worked. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, sometimes it, it, it's uh, if there is a man upstairs, you know, like uh, a god or whatever, who makes these things happen. Uh, maybe that's why it works. But like, who's to know how it works? You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not stunned either. Yeah. <laughs> can you can you actually pinpoint who actually came up with the name the specials? Uh, Limbell said he did. Yeah. Jerry said he did. I, mean, <laughs> like, I have no idea. <laughs> big, big egos. <laughs> uh, and is the meaning behind it that it came from the Jamaican sound systems when they just made a one-off, which was a special? 